Hi there, Martin Priestley here from Urban Wildlife Tips and today I'm going to be showing you my new video Moth Trapping for Beginners, The Extra Bits Part 2 well, I'm going to be discussing the simple egg carton or egg box and how placing these outside your moth trap can also increase the moths that you catch on a night so let's have a look and see what's happening so here is the uh, moth trap I've set it up for tonight uh, but you'll notice something a little bit different um, it's got a load of egg cartons uh, all the way around um, so let me just go around this way yeah so it's all the way around the moth trap and there's a reason for this um, and the, the reason is very simple that um, not all moths are going to come and land uh, inside the actual uh, moth trap a lot of the, of the moths will be flying around um, and so therefore if you put the egg boxes all the way around um, the theory behind it is and it does work uh, that um, the moths are going to come and some that don't go into the light are going to go and land and take shelter underneath uh, the car now at uh, the trap and we'll give it a go and we'll um, we'll have a look underneath these egg cartons to see if any moths like I said last night have um, not gone into the trap but have congregated in, in here so we're getting that little bit extra out of it let's have a look and see what we've got so just as an exercise I'm going to record I'll record all my moths but I'm going to just record the ones that I've found round here, if I've found any, um, just as an experiment. So that's what I'm going to do. So let's have a look first of all. No, nothing in there. And nothing in there. So we'll move on to these now. So let's have a look in this side then. Ooh, again, nothing in that side. Have a look in here. Whoa, nice one. Nice one. A peppered moth. Uh, I'll, I'll get a closer view on that. And also a bright line there and a flame shoulder. Oh, I'm pleased about that. So we'll, we'll note those then. Right, we'll have a look at this side then. No, there's nothing on the outside, which again, you, you would expect. Ah. Right, we've got, that looks like a white ermine there, and then we've got heart and dirt, uh, and we've got um, a harlequin ladybird, and we've got a really tiny micro moth, which, what I'm going to do, I'm going to, I'm going to, uh, what I will do with that, it's difficult to pot it up, but I will take a photograph of that. And then I will analyse it. We've also got another really tiny micro moth, which you can probably won't be able to see. I'll try and get it on a macro uh, there as well, which again needs to be uh, investigated. So that's that. Um, again, nothing on the outside again, which you'd expect. And yes, that looks like a, a middle bar minor. Oh, and another uh, flame shoulder. So we'll put those down then. So we, here we have the, uh, the peppered moth. Absolutely lovely, stunning moth is this moth. And it's one that I wouldn't have caught, if you think about it, uh, had it not been for the, um, the egg boxes around the, um, the side of the moth trap. Mm -hmm. 